mic on. Hello, can you still hear me now? <laughs> the captioning is working, but the mic was not. Fantastic, love that stuff. All right, all right, but you can hear me now. Fabulous, sorry about that, guys. I love, I love technology. <laughs> One of these days, I swear, I'll have a flawless stream that doesn't have any tech uh, hiccups in it at all and everything will go exactly the way that it's supposed to go um so hello dazzle thanks for coming and hanging out with me today i'm glad that you're here today is an arting day and this is the painting that i'm going to be working on uh for those of you who are interested you can go into the discord and in the artist alley channel you can download this picture and there's two versions of it in i just uploaded a second version so that there's one with the background and one without just the one without the background should give you a couple more options but uh if you would like to color this picture as well you can do that it's available for you and hello everybody all kinds of people here to hang out love it hello bloodshed stinky big um, just Chico. We got Rainbow and Dead Its. <laughs> and we got Stacks and Frog Gamer and Ads. Oh, and we're doing a wiggle. At least it happened early, so you don't have the illusion of a potentially perfect stream later, right? Something. And I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just convinced that it's always gonna go weird and we have Mei, Mei so hello everybody I hope you are all doing very well today I myself am having a good day um I did some recording for my next game review I did a job interview today and I've done some resting so I've just been kind of chilling and we got Frog Gamer being the first to offer a zebra cake up we give it to Zed because we know that he will actually share it with Otis. And Otis, he's suspect. He doesn't he doesn't share well. <laughs> Alright, let me switch over my screen. So I'll see when redeems come up and we can keep track of those. Alright, so today I'm gonna be working with primarily two products. Um and they're both of the uh, Artezas, Artezas brand. I think that's how you say that. Um, I'm going to be working with watercolors and watercolor markers. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. And we're and we're gonna bring our happy little forest to life. With any luck, it'll look awesome, and we'll have a great time doing it. Oh, and the, and the art cam is like moody. It's moody. It's moody. But it looks like it's going again. All right. Okay, good. And I don't know how well these markers are going to work. So we'll see. I'm just going to play it by ear. I 
I have kind of a love-hate relationship with them. Not going to lie. snap it's zebra and you think the art camera is froze i think that it's definitely chop chugging we we might have to like look at it and see if we can get it to work better because it's not doing great tonight It's also de delayed compared to my face cam. Yeah, I, unfortunately, I don't think there's anything I can do about there being a little bit of a delay. I think that we're kind of stuck with that based on the nature of the beast. Um, but I know that the last paint stream we did, we did manage to get it to run pretty smooth. That'll probably be it. That'll be the only one that it ever runs smooth and, and all of our dreams are just going to be out the window from henceforth and forever. The rest of it's going to be like claymation animation and just chop, 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 chop. Can I say hi for your mom? Hi, mom. Is 
So how you doing today, Drip? And how's your mom today? And we're doing a wiggle. So we gotta be like good to our meat boats, guys. And we gotta like move around and like stretch. And I think that this <laughs> art camera is definitely like bogging up tonight. Uh goodness. It's like I just I just not gonna behave. You can't make me. You can't make me. You cannot make me. And I'm like, but but And it's lagging behind really bad. So, Miss Rach, if there's anything you can do to, like, smooth out the operation of the uh, art cam, that would be cool. We call in the tech ninjas. We call in the tech ninjas. Hi, Crazy Green. How you doing? You're doing good. Glad to hear that you're doing well. You like the painting? Good, I'm glad. So these markers that I am using are acrylic ink. So they are just like the um ink that I painted the black lines in and I really in general like the acrylic ink markers but they definitely create some challenges because you definitely have to like work pretty quickly with them or otherwise they will start um, drying and then layering color so that you will end up with patchy look to it which sometimes is a cool thing that you can use to get 
like whole patterns and stuff built in, but most of the time it's just annoying. to keep the tip moist if it dries out it won't paint as well but when you get it wet it changes the look of the color so there's definitely some interestingness to using these which is why I I have some love and hate for them like I think you can do some really cool things with them but they're not the easy user-friendly experience that I would like them to be The only thing they got going for them in the easy department is the like clean up and put away because you don't have to like wash the brush and all that like you do other painting items. You just cap them and there they go. <laughs> the word moist feels moist. It's a weird feeling that some words have. Yes, yeah, some words. Some words are more interesting when you say them. Some words are great to say, like tumultuous. That's my favorite word to say. It just like kind of rolls out of your mouth. It's like tumultuous. The other one that's fun is fabulous. Cause you gotta, you gotta give that one like, I don't know, some flair to it. You gotta be all like, fabulous, darling, fabulous. You can't like ever say that one like a normal person. coffee all right and then this one is just going to be a from a tube And the 
Don't stop paying. Mix it, mix it, mix it. These clouds, nice and happy, fluffy little clouds. And you gotta be careful when you're painting with watercolors on canvas. Not to get your watercolor too wet, because it'll be just like blue, 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 blue. Hey ghost, how you doing? Today is an arting day, so no, no Minecraft today. Minecraft is every Wednesday. We've looked at it in the past, and I did not have any better luck with it than with the Streamlabs built-in setup. But it looks like they have done an update since I looked at it last, so it might be worth a look. Oh, they're talking like tech ninja nerdy stuff. I don't, I don't know what it is. I don't... We need a cooking stream one day. Oh, you guys, you guys don't want to see me cook. That's like a disaster. And I don't know that it would be very interesting because most of my cooking is like I toss a bunch of stuff in a pot and then I walk away for hours and hours and hours and let it do its thing in the pot and then come back to it and ta-da, food. I love soup. I love making soup. Or I, I put things in the Instapot and pressure cook it until it like, I don't know, disintegrates into like yumminess. You started this, but only did the mushrooms. <laughs> hey, that's all right. I decided I prefer to print it and color it by hand. Yeah. Another community challenge stream. Cooking night. <laughs> oh, I, ooh, I don't know. <laughs> and Mr. Rogers is like, I don't even know how we would set that up. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. Oof. I think, though, that he's cringing at cooking night for a completely different reason than I am. I think he's cringing at trying to figure out, like, already in his head, trying to figure out how he would set up the cameras for that. And I'm just like, I don't even know what I'd be doing. You'd like watch, literally watch me put stuff in a pot and then I'd be like, all right, so in like uh, nine hours or so, we can eat this. Okay, guys, so come back tomorrow. <laughs> like, we can eat this tomorrow, guys. It's not going to be done today. <laughs> And I think it's always interesting to see how people go about coloring these busy forests. And when I'm using something like ink, I tend to just start right at the top and, and just like color in down. Just so that I have like to worry less about where my hands are in the picture. But I do find that people frequently will pick out like one element and like color all of that thing that they can find and then 
move on to the next thing and then color all of that and so on. And I always think it's fun to see the different versions and of color to it. Like, would you make this tree a dark brown or a really light one? Would you paint these mushrooms red? There's so many choices and options, like, and none of them are wrong, and they all make it for a different kind of just fun, wonderful world. <laughs> so, sorry to the tech ninjas. <laughs> I just remember you're welcome to throw out any ideas but that doesn't mean that they will become Tech Ninja approved. <laughs> the Tech Ninja does have the option of going, mm -mm, we can't make that shit work. If we were to do a cooking night to make it interesting, it would have to be her cooking a community chosen recipe for her to follow. Oh no. Oh no, that would be so hard. <laughs> yeah, no! What are you doing to me? Recipes never turn out right, even when I follow them exactly. I'll do every step and the recipe's like, nah, girl, this ain't for you. recipe god is like no i don't govern you you were governed by chaos you you need you need to cook with chaos yay what mr arch said <laughs> that way there would be something for them to watch right i have a super traditional old style recipe from norway oh yeah that stuff just jk don't make it <laughs> by you giving them ideas like this you're just encouraging them and do you really want to have to deal with that tech nightmare I'm figuring out how to film in our kitchen shape of these tips because they come to like a really nice point but with like a little bit of pressure you can like get a nice um kind of blade shape on them so they can like fan out and get more area Thank you. 
just like all things in the acrylic world, these do much better on the non-porous surfaces. Anything that's gonna like kind of suck it up isn't gonna look good. It's gonna do better with anything that it like floats on. And I'm sure you've noticed the dried color and the wet color are dramatically different in acrylic ink. with this brand I don't know I haven't tried any other brands so I don't know if that's something that you see universally Like acrylic paint, pretty much whatever color you brush it onto the canvas is what you're gonna get. So it's kind of strange to me that these like dry such a distinctly different color than they go on. And the color on the tip of the marker is looks more like the color it goes on wet than the color it dries, so I don't like that either. So yeah, definitely an ongoing forever love and hate relationship with this product. And maybe at some undetermined date in the future when I'm just like super uber duper rich, I'll buy a different brand of these and see if my woes with them are limited to this brand or if it's just kind of how this product works. Because right now I have no idea. I have nothing to compare it to. And they're expensive. But I think everything is expensive. I've always thought Zebra playing Overcooked would be Zebra setting everything on fire if it starts a series trying to get the order done. Oh my goodness. So, something like that for cooking night. <laughs> You could make it. I'm unsure you would get the ingredients for it. Oh. <laughs> you could get a GoPro to strap to your head and go from there. Oh, that that would be interesting. <laughs> Just like... Because I'm sure that all the weird movements I do wouldn't make the camera like janky at all.
Okay. Green for a bush. We're not a bush. Hey, how we need a bush? It's like a super uber duber light bush. Light! Apparently, I don't even know that you can see the green. I'm really excited about that. Let's go with green intensified. Nope, that one's like, I'm, I'm, I'm not even. I'm not even. You can't make me. Let's see if I can wake that little guy up. Nope, this one's just, I'm, I'm not. All right, fine. You can just, Hide in this bag for all time and eternity and not do anything useful. We didn't need anything useful from you, sir. There we go. We got some green. We got a winner. better we actually got some green on there hey hey green Pay attention to where our layers are. I do better at this with some of these than the others. I usually do the best with that if I like color them right after I've drawn them. Uh, well, this has been a while, so we'll see how it goes.
cuman comes up on top of that one so this tree bushy thing is over that so then we're gonna come down this tree is in front of that so this is gonna be the screen then we've got another bush in front of that so then this here would be the green that we are working in things where our friend got excited and started throwing stuff we don't want to make those green mushroom it's not going to be green I don't know what color it's gonna be probably some red maybe red I like red mushrooms so it's probably gonna be red but we definitely don't want it to be green only painted that one. We're gonna have to go with a pretty significant color to cover that over. That's alright. Push comes to shove, we can break out an acrylic layer. Wiggle. All right, everybody. Let's make sure we're moving our meat boat around. Being good to the meat boat. Uh. Hey, butter. 
Butterscotch, how you doing tonight? Painting is looking good. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. All right. So I think the next thing will be to paint this little goblin guy up here. Whatever he is with whatever he's, whatever mischief he's getting into. one up battery low oh apparently my battery is low and i need to like plug in charging battery because i always have these charged and ready to go guys mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. always <laughs> always ready Glad to hear that you're doing good, Butterscotch. Alright, let's get him doo -doo -doo. colored and... I don't know if these are like spirit forests or gremlins or what, but they're something. And they're mischievous. I know that they're mischievous. They just have that I'm mischievous look to them. All right, and then let's paint the spotted snake. We've got a spotted snake to paint. And of course, every spotted snake is purple, right? It's the only logical color for a spotted snake. I mean, I don't, I don't know. You, you really could color this any color you wanted. It would be okay. I won't judge. But in my version of this forest. He's going to be purple. Then, what color are we gonna go with? Hmm. 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 Let's go with this blue.
Oh, I'm a big black guy. Whoa. Guess somebody punched him and that was rude. green for the little froggy here. Oh, doing a posture check. Thank you. Isaiah Savage. Appreciate that. Definitely being slouch. Ooh, this one is just not. Let's, uh, perk that up some. There we go. Still seems perfect. Perfect. All right, now we need some red for all of our red little ladybugs. I guess that's kind of more pink, so I guess these ones are pink today. I guess. They're the pink beetle bug brigade. to live in our forest. And chances are, I'm not going to see all the beetles right now because there's so many of them. I will have to come back and paint more later and those ones will just end up being a different color because I'll forget what color I painted these ones. That's how this always goes. Sometimes it just ends up being just one beetle that I miss. He's like the one like that's completely different than the others and other times it's like a whole brigade of them that is different I do think it's fun to try to get them all in one go and get them all one color, but it never works out. It, it never happens. 
I always, always miss beetles. awkward. the tech ninja on it i promise he'll be back and just he'll get everything back working perfect honest it'll be perfect <laughs> okay it probably won't everything's just gonna be janky tonight someday 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 We're painting tonight, and it's, I got tech ninjas on the uh, camera because it's janky. But he's working on it. Yeah, apparently I uh, bumped it and unplugged it, and now it's upset because it doesn't have electricity. I don't... I don't know why this would be a problem, but I mean... So this is a case of me just wiggling too damn much, is really what it amounts to, guys. I think that our bird should be some shade of blue, so let's go with make it a blue bird. Blue bird, blue bird. Yeah, be happy bird. Oh, I already found another beetle that I missed. It always happens, guys. Always. Hasn't been too long, though. I remember what color I was using. Oh, I'm sure there's another one or two or twelve hiding somewhere. I draw the outline myself. Yes, I did. During the um, last paint stream, I painted the uh, forest in um, acrylic ink. 
So you can go back to the VODs and watch me paint that if you're interested. That is up. It looks so good. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. And now we're just giving them some color. And the uncolored black and white version is available in the Discord. So if you go into the Artist Alley, you can download it with the background or without, and you can color it yourself if you're interested in doing so. making these little creature forests. This guy sitting up here. Oh. Another tip that just needs to be woke up a little bit. can see that very great all right we're gonna pull another green and we're gonna get this kind of filled in oh assuming I can get this green to work will be the green in between the two of them but that will be mushroom so then this will be the same
Let's just get all this little bush filled in. There. Hold some of the brown. So let's just go back over that to... There we go. Make sure that looks just green, 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 green. You got your first gel blaster today? What is a gel blaster? make our little gremlin guy this color. Hanging out of the tree. I don't know what he's trying to do, but he looks like he's just hanging on for dear life. Just Barely, barely staying attached. It's an electric gun that shoots Orbeez. Oh my goodness! <laughs> kind of like airsoft guns. That sounds like there could be much trouble caused. It also sounds like it could be a lot of fun. It also sounds like it's probably a good thing that I do not have said thing in my life. I never painted this guy's tongue and that's just awkward, poor guy. There you go. Some of these little flyer guys. These are another one that I never grabbed them all in one go. There's just so many of them hidden in about. And well, I've lost track of them since I let them loose in this forest. So now, now I just, I don't know where they are. They're just kind of flying around causing trouble and I gotta catch up with them again and give them a little bit of color. Lots of little friends to find. Oh, 
All right, that's all of them that I see right now, but I'm sure. Oh wait, yep, there's some more right there. I was gonna say, I'm sure there's more. I'm sure there's more beetles too that I haven't seen yet. They're hiding, they're in there. You <laughs> shot yourself with it on accident. <laughs> Yeah, I probably would shoot myself, everybody else, the wall. Yeah. Hi, Knife Ray. How you doing? Hello, Bounty Hunter. We love new people. Welcome to the Dazzle. Hello, I am new here, but I'm not. But I will be here. But if I will be, then I already am. <gasps> yes, yes, you are definitely here. <laughs> welcome. Welcome, and thank you for the lurking. <laughs> <laughs> That's Bounty, our damn fool. Alright, what do we got going on now? <laughs> choices, choices, so many choices! Going with this color, whatever this color is. <laughs> it's kind of like a brick or maroon somewhere in there. It's the color of this mushroom. bit different and we'll just have to wait and see exactly what that little different makes it. I'm just gonna keep going 
with this one and this is a nice red mushroom so we'll keep making other nice red mushrooms to go with this nice red mushroom friend yes traditional red spotted mushrooms and we'll go with that because I don't know I've always liked the look of those I don't even know what kind of mushrooms they're called but I'm pretty sure they're actually poisonous So they're happy for climbing and sitting on and being friends, but not eating. They make seats, not snacks. Come on down to this next one. Effect, but this is nice music again. This watch is always picking good tunes. This is like perfect for painting mushrooms. Yeah.
Hello, Liliana. How you doing? It's the good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> he knows all the good stuff. I never have any idea. I just look at like all the options and go, oh, too many choices. How do you pick? Sometimes I think that the more choices you give me, the worse it is, because I just get like, I don't know, like overwhelmed, and it's like there's just too much. How do you, how do you know? What if, what if you make the wrong choice? What if there's one that's better and you just, you just didn't know because, because there were so many to choose from. Ah! Let's go with... Some kind of like... Maybe yellowy brown... I don't know... Maybe an orange... Kind of like this color... We'll go with this color... For the stem... The lo-fi is super chill. Yeah, it's like... This is just like a nice, like... Kind of chill. Relax. But it doesn't take on like the elevator quality music, but it definitely can like fade into the background too. It's not like something that like must pay attention to me kind of music either. Like techno can be. Techno can be quite demanding of my attention. these guys gremlins tree spirits i don't know i don't know what they are whatever these dudes are they need some color these dudes these dudes here dudes they're dudes <laughs> mm. 
They're tree dudes. Just chilling, hanging out, enjoying each other's company, being each other's pillow. I mean, you know you got a good friend when that friend is like willing to be your pillow and you can just kind of like snuggle people pile with them and just be like blonk Bubba Gump thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That kind of bud. You can just like hang out and talk about everything and nothing with. Tell them about your shrimp dreams. Well, I feel like I have about half the picture colored, but I feel like that's misleading because I feel like the bottom half has a lot more like little busy things. So I feel like it's going to take more time to fill in the bottom half. So I feel like it's a little bit of a lie. Another green, another green, another green. We'll go with the screen. same thing just paint in another layer of bush all right and then this is in front of the snake so it's a different bush but this one is in the back one's in front so we're only going to be coming up into here I 
I feel like when you start coloring all these layers of bushes that they present the challenge that if you color them all the same green, they don't really stand out as separate bushes and they lose a lot of their fun layers. But at the same token, it's like a lot of different greens and it can be a real pain in the butt to make sure you get all the different layers stacked right and the right colors. So if you did this with like colored pencil, it'd probably be easier because you could uh, layer the colors with more uh, shading options. You can do that some with acrylic ink, but uh, it's not a skill that... Okay, I've seen some people really do some amazing shading with acrylic ink. It's just not a skill I personally am very good at. the skill. So I'm only kind of cool. <laughs> oh well, there's always something else to learn. So... I'll never have all the skill. It's fine. But I love that about art. It means that there's always something fun and new around the next corner. All right, and then we got him, and then this layer is on the same layer. So we're gonna bring this green over. Careful around those little guy's feet. And around this next snake. Because you knew there was going to be snakes in this forest. Just means us pigs have to be careful when we visit.
you know these snakes are seeing the pigs going, mm-mm. And I just spend my whole time running like crazy in this forest. Especially since most of them are like avocado snakes. This little snake guy. What are his colors gonna be? Hmm. I don't know, whatever this color is. It's kind of an orange, I guess. Tomato. It says it's tomato. He's going to be tomato. his little tongue. <laughs> and what else? What other color should he be? Um, we should go with tomato. I think it should be like a blue. Uh, how about like this tea? dramatic. Nice, bright snake. Ooh, that one's doing weird things. Let me see if I can... Alright. Nope, that one's, that one's noping. Some of these tips definitely need some attention. be okay. There. You'll never know that the first marker told me to buck her off. <laughs> All right. Now we're gonna paint some of these other little guys in the back. What do I got? Um, he has a little spotted mushroom I didn't notice before. You know, you would think that I would know all the nuances of this picture because I made it, but pfft. Nope, after a week, I have forgotten all of its details. All the details in this is gone. I'm just like discovering it all over again. I'm visiting this forest for the first time. That's how it feels anyway. <laughs> As far as well as I know this.
treasure. He's like, look what I found, guys. Look, look. We got another one of these little sprite demon guys up here. Canvas wig one. That ain't no good. That's like painting on hard mode. No thanks. Beautiful, rich brown. already drying to a less rich color boo so here we are exactly the same color as the tree he's standing next to. Well, there's that. Not the end of the world, but not what I was going for, either. to be all kinds of pretty and dramatic colors, vibrant and different. It's not as interesting to look at if there isn't a lot of different colors, at least not for my brain. My brain wants color. My brain wants all the colors.
Okay, and then painted tongue. Needs to have a pink tongue. You guys are already halfway to getting the story time challenge. I'm gonna have to start like figuring out more about what I'm doing with that, I guess. Since you guys have decided you're serious about it, I guess I should probably figure it out. I mean, maybe I should wait until, like, the last cake is spent, and then I can figure it out, right? Right? Or maybe I'll just wait until, like, two days or even, like, two minutes before we go live with it, just wing the whole show. Not that I would ever do that, right? <laughs> I feel like I live in improv in Wing It Land. <laughs> So, the usual then. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much the usual then. That is definitely kind of where I live. Um, I always tell myself I'm going to plan more, and then it, it just, I don't know, never happens. I mean, I will say there was quite a bit of planning in the first um, paint night, but that was mostly Mr. Arch, not me. That planning happened because he was like, um, if you want the tech to, like, work, then we need to do some planning. And I'm like, all right, I guess. Okay. Because I do, I do want the tech to work. So, okay, I guess we're planning. that color in there and bring this mushroom into life. This, these little forest scenes always feel like they have so much more life once they've been colored. They're so much more vibrant and alive looking to me once they've been painted or colored in general. Until then, they're just kind of like flat and stale and kind of boring, kind of boring. my brain always wants the color. 
So when it's like the black and white, I'm just like, busy, but all right, where's the color? And then as soon as you start getting the color in it, my brain is like, yeah, that's better. That's the way a world should be. dancer. guy with his impossibly long arm. He just really wanted to get to that ladder, so he stretched that arm right out so he could reach it. I wish I could do that. I never reach anything. I'm just short and everything is always too high up. It'd be nice if I could just be like, all right, my arm needs to be a little longer right now. And just be like, mm, got it. Here's the beetle we missed. Artists isn't about appeasing the crowd. Rather, it's about tending to the broken parts inside of ourselves. We create things as a reflection of this struggle. To study our perception of self. Necessarily a thing you achieve. Rather, it is a state of mind which you constantly strive toward. Oh, we're getting into the philosophy of here in the music, apparently. Static, but fluid, like water. Be like water. Mm-hmm. 
Boop. And I think that that means that this is going to be this level. be green. It'll just be a different green. All right. Let's pull out another green. Just keep working these layers in. Luckily, I have lots of greens, or this would be a lot more difficult to do. have to have like orange bushes or something. I mean, maybe I should just on principle have all orange bushes next time. I mean, if it's a magical forest, why not, right? It's a green check. stones. be a reasonable person and just make it a path, right? I had to like, I don't know, get weird and 
put in all these little rocks to paint. to decide which ones are rocks and which ones are going to be petals. And I found some more beetles. <laughs> Get them painted. There was one earlier and I was like, oh, I'll come back to him. Well, I've lost him again. I don't, I don't know where he is, so I'm not coming back to him. <laughs> He's gone back in stealth mode. He's like, mm-hmm. You think you found me. You, you did not. And I'm like, I guess, I guess I did not. Oh, that's not a spotted mushroom. That's one that is with the petal. Uh, more green, more green. this weird lumpy bush thing going on here. I don't know if this is grass or bush, but it's like a green thing, right? the ones that I saw earlier and said I would come back to and then I came back to him again. I don't know. I'm so confused. Paint them when you see them or they disappear. The beetles are sneaky. They are like stealth machines, guys. Stealth machines, I tell you. mushroom that's gonna be oh I don't know this color
right and then this will be the bottom maybe it ain't having it there we go it's like just this nice light yellow but it was at first like nah I'm good the stems. That's awkward. Like, there's a whole bunch of stems I didn't paint. That's fine. all these little little stubs it's gonna be like the uh, beetles though I'm gonna go along and just see more all the time and be like oh that's something I didn't see earlier it's fine I think it's fine Something's happening, guys. We got lots of color on here. I don't know that <laughs> I'm, I'm really making progress, but <laughs> something's happening. and blue on the last one too but you know I guess that's just their thing oh we're doing a posture check thank you Selenia Selenia I think I was definitely slouching I'm always slouching when in doubt I'm slouching alright we'll grab these flowers <laughs> yep. I like forever the hunchback of Notre Dame. And I always tell myself, oh, I'm going to work on my posture. I'm going to be, I'm going to do better about it. And then like 
the soon as it's out of my mind, which is only takes about like, you know, half a second or so. And then I'm back to being a hunchback in Notre Dame again. this guy celebrating but he just seems very happy with his flowers and it definitely feels like celebration like yeah it's a good day celebrating the day dancing Since I have no idea what kind of flowers these are, I have no idea what the best color to paint them is. Um, so they're going to be this color today. If you wanted to go really wild and crazy, you could do all of these different colors, and I don't think that that would be a problem. They're not really like a designated flower. A little flyer bug I missed. He did not get any color. He's got it now, though. Boop. 
These don't seem to be as sneaky as the beetles. The beetles were just kind of hiding everywhere. I'm still not 100% confident that I got all of the beetles. But there will be a point where I'm like, I had to have gotten them all. pain in the butt because I made all these rocks. I don't know what I was thinking when I painted all these rocks. <laughs> I was like, it'll give the path texture and it'll look nice. Past me was crazy. Right now me is thinking what pain in the butt to paint all these rocks. And around all these rocks. But past me was right. It does make it nice textured. make it so that it takes like eight million times longer <laughs> If you choose to color, you could be like, Past Pig, you're crazy, and just color it all one color. Not, nobody, will, nobody will care. Past me was crazy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, JCal TV, for following. We appreciate it. <laughs> Let's go with all this crazy dirt.
Because I don't know what Past Pig was thinking. I mean, I do, but Past Pig was crazy just the same. Sometimes I draw things and paint things out and I don't think about how much of a pain in the butt it is going to be when it comes time to color it <laughs> and then I have regrets. And then when it's all done I look at it and go, oh but that does look good. And then I'm like, to this current me I'll say, past me you were just being whiny. Because current me is just being whiny. We made it! We made it to the end of the road! All right. Whew. That tip's seen better days. I don't know what happened to it. Let's get that, uh... gonna have to have some attention future me problem and future me loves that colors that I don't use as often. Those tips are pretty rough. I'm gonna remind myself to just periodically... You know, I say that. Like, I'm gonna remember. Because you do gotta periodically go through and moisten them or they just get wonky. Easily fixed by just Moisting them up and letting them sit for a little bit. But it means not really good for using right now. They won't paint well. Everything just kind of gets dried and glumped up in them. Probably this one. He's an all blue snake. Some like an arctic biome snake or something, right? Yeah, I'm sure that's how that works. Oh, 
Look at this guy with his like stretchy arm. Because I'm telling you, man, sometimes you just, you really want to grab something and you just, you gotta make your arm grow in order to do it. This guy, this guy's all about that. He's like, I ain't walking further. I'm just going to make my arm grow. Mushrooms. Oop. Let's not knock over my water. That'd be have a mess. Luxusius? I'm really not sure how to say your name. I greet you in Murloc. How you doing today? we got to get into lots and lots of green layers
sounds kind of a teal, but I still like it for grass and bushes. definitely strikes me more as bush than grass. You're doing fine. How about you today, love? Oh, I'm doing good. I've had a good day. I slept pretty well, and then I had a job interview, and then I came back from that, and I did some writing on a script, and then... Did some recording. I'm working on a video for game review. And then I just sat and rested. And then I started the stream. So I feel like I've had a good balance today of resting and self care, but also getting things done and being productive. So it's been a good day. I like days where I feel like I've done both. Because, well, all too often, I am really good at forgetting to take care of myself and get way too focused on the productivity and the doing of things. I can very much get caught up in that and take it to a toxic, not good levels. It's been my focus lately about trying to keep things more balanced. been going questionably well overall <laughs> but today today I feel like I had good balance how about you how was your day Just adding in the color for the bushes makes a huge difference in these pictures. You had a job interview yesterday? Nice. I'm hoping and manifesting we both get our job and sounds eventful. I'm kind of the same way, right? <laughs> Nothing much. Just been watching a lot of Marvel and playing Zelda. Nice. That sounds like it was a pretty good day then. And I hope things that, that are, go are going to go well with the job interview that you had as well. It can always be stressful when you're doing the like looking about and trying to decide and on which job you should take and ugh. I'm always so glad when the process is over but I am never happy to go through it not very productive but calm those are good days too we need calm days in our lives sometimes I think we need them more Right, and another green. I'm gonna see if we can get these. 
bushes going. Oh, here's another one that's just not. Nope. <sighs> Gonna have to give that one some love later. Open it up and it looks like you know desiccated corpse you're like whoa that tips that tips done dried out just ain't supposed to look that way the downside of not using these all the time but if you use them all the time, then they run out so fast. Catch 22. Too bad we can't just have them last forever. green filled in. I feel like we're getting there, guys. I feel like it's happening. I feel like we might even get it done before the stream is over. I was doubtful. These are so time consuming with all these little bits and details to get colored in. But we're getting there. And we got like over an hour left, so I'm feeling like pretty good about the odds of getting it done. Yeah. It's one of those places where the line happens. And green, we need more greens, lots of greens. This down here definitely looks more like grass. Maybe I should paint them wild colors just to like be different. But I'm always going with like my different greens for my like bushes and grasses. I'm not on Twitch very much, but I remember coming across you on TikTok, and you're just a very comforting person. This is just very nice. Uh, well, thank you very much. I appreciate that, and I'm glad that you like being here. I do my best to make people feel welcome. 
We got enough places in the world that have the opposite effect. Today, we'll just imagine we're in this little magical forest and hanging out with these little tree spirit, I don't know, gremlin guys. This one looks like a, a rabbit, though. Maybe he can read us a story out of his book. That would be cool if we could just take a vacation from life and go out into the forest and sit down under a tree and have Mr. Rabbit come out with his uh, little storybook and be like, well, once upon a time. Especially if all their fairy tales involved the like mysterious people. creatures would think of us and our lack of magic and our weird technologies. I really recently watched a uh, show called Carnival Row on uh, the uh, Prime, and uh, it was really a good show. It was about uh, Fae being real creatures and how us humans found where they were, and we, of course, invaded, and there was a war going on, and just how, like, all the implications of that. And I just thought it was really well done, and I thought it was a lot of um, interesting social commentary. So if you like stories about the Fae, that one was a good one. left off at a place that they could do more but I don't think they plan to it's also left off at a place that it doesn't really need to I didn't feel like it was a bad place to end the series you get into like a really good series and then the series ends it's like oh no but but <laughs> and then I'm like tempted to just immediately turn around and watch it again like eight times
I'm like that with books too. As soon if I if I get a good book, I'm likely to just read it, read it, and reread it, and reread it. The anime series Seven Deadly Sins was one that I watched I don't even know how many times. A lot. I watched it a lot. And I'm sure that at some point I will go back and watch it again because it was really good. I really enjoyed the characters a lot. Getting to it. Some mushrooms, you gotta get them colored proper. I don't know what would make it improper, but. I guess just leaving them white, that would feel improper. in this place. And crazy little guys too, doing silly things. Like I feel this little guy right here is me. Like I'm hiding, I'm hiding behind this mushroom. You can't see me. Like, clearly, I am fully hidden. There is nothing to see here. I blended in very, very well. Nothing to see. Yep, this is me hiding in the woods right here. I feel like this would be me as a tree spirit. I mean, like, see? I have, I have, like, I have, like, disappeared into the woods. There's nothing to see. <laughs> And this guy is just like super chill. He's just like leaning up against this tree. He might take a nap, but right now he's just like chilling. 
enjoying the good day and hanging out by the tree. I don't know, maybe he sleeps with his eyes open, so maybe he is napping. I, I, I don't know. Well, you have a great shower there, Mars Chats, and thanks for the lurk. one's a nice bright boop 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 Mushrooms look about the same, but I didn't want them all to be the same color, so there is definitely just some arbitrary decision making as to which ones will be painted what colors. But I needed some vibrance of mushroom in my life, so they're just. I don't know, going to just be randomly that colors. Because they can be. Because that's the great part about painting a magical forest is that you can make them whatever color you decide. I mean, I suppose you can do that with a not magical forest. It just is a little bit, uh... I don't know, harder to explain. I mean, I guess not. I guess either way, it's because that's what I wanted to do today. And colors are fabulous! Why wouldn't you want a lot of them, right? Like... Maybe that's the only thing that makes it magical is having lots of color. Maybe the maybe once you decide to do random weird colors, maybe that's by default a magical forest. Maybe that's the only way to tell. smudged that one on to go back in. Sorry, miss you. drag your knuckle across the wet paint. I expect it's going to go well. I mean, I do it often, hence why I have like this ink rainbow tattoo going on here.
big guy in the front has got to be like a nice pink color because that's going to look great against the color of that bush. And I bet that's what these face spirit guys are thinking about, man. Do I have a beautiful contrast? There's one of fabulous! Made it almost the whole way. Gotta turn it once, guys. set aside and I think I just accidentally whisked it back into everything. Oh, that's unfortunate. a few mushrooms left soon it'll be done crazy
want for the stump. completed magical forest <laughs> and all of its crazy shenanigans. Whee! So woohoo! We got it done in time! Yeah! So I hope that you guys enjoyed the adventure into the kind of doodly magical forest land. Um because we can definitely do these again where we do the drawings and then make the drawing available for you guys to also color and art along with me where we can color them. Um, Allure, this looks amazing. Oh, thank you so much. Um, and these are ones that like as we're drawing them, you guys could easily be like, oh, add a thing and we can kind of... Uh, make them a draw along paint along thing too so if it's something that you're interested in seeing more of just let me know in the discord and we can look at doing some more of these um, but this one this one is done and I will take a picture of it and I will post the completed version of it in the discord for you all to see and we'll set that aside and one minute My headset cord was not long enough. All uh, right, I think, Miss Raj, this one will need us to like adjust <laughs> the angle because it's a taller one. You know, just to make your life more interesting or. Um, yeah, you know, don't want to make your life too easy. <laughs> yeah cheers all right so i'm gonna pull out some colors here we're gonna get started on this one i say started i mean clearly i've started on this one this is one that I've been kind of, I did the sketch and the line work for, and I figured that if I magically got through the um, other one that I, we could do this one. So, well there, I guess that, that worked out. That I had a, huh? <laughs> you guys got to see the mistrash? <laughs> I 
Uh... My markers are in absolute chaos. I'm sure this surprises nobody who has ever watched me working. <laughs> Identity compromised! Don't worry, Mr. Rats. We've got you. We will not say a word. We won't leak out to the world who you are. We will tell no one. Identity remains secreted. Trouble Panda, how you doing? Hi, my favorite streamer. Oh, well, thank you. That's very sweet. too big. I don't want that one. I always gotta like open them up and look at them. I, I ain't got no idea what they look like. for it. They're like, no, I'm good. Run, run. So I am still working with watercolor today, and this is on watercolor paper with one of the water-filled watercolor brushes. doing good. I'm glad to hear that you're doing well there, Trouble Panda. I've had a good day today. I'm doing well. Highlight being that I have slept good. That's always like Christmas, I'm telling you. I 
I never know when good sleep's going to happen, so when it does, it's like, yeah, <laughs> winning. <laughs> Welcome back, Bounty. What happened to the wiggly eyes? This one never had wiggly eyes. You're thinking of its forest friend. I'm sure you could probably, um... coax Miss Roch into like accosting this with googly eyes though. have spoken, I guess. I guess my fay will just forever be googlied. Proud minions. <laughs>
So I did a forest one, so I felt like I should probably do a watery one. And this is the idea that came out. Kind of a pond water lily, I don't know. I feel like Fay would be associated with all of the different natural places and not just a forest. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Zero Two for Live. We appreciate the follow. I'd be scared if I saw that in the forest. <laughs> right? Look at the pretty flowers. This painting reminds you of an alien movie? Oh no. is definitely a very different animal than acrylic. So we'll see how this one turns out because I do not use watercolor anywhere near as often. I don't think the whole thing is going to be watercolor, but I felt like the background water area should be. fuck around and find out vibe with this this piece than the last one I mean there's always some of that in my art and it's just kind of how I roll but Thank you. 
I think that's the fun part about art is just trying new things and seeing what happens and exploring and not being locked into any one thing ever. The biggest thing that I have to remember whenever I go to watercolor is that you really have to go from light to dark rather than dark to light, which is kind of the opposite of what I'm used to working. Because I usually go, you know, with acrylics, I usually go with the darker colors and then build the shadows and light highlights by going into the lighter colors after I have put that dark shadow base in. And watercolor, you're gonna have to go exactly the opposite. Because you just go in and slowly add more pigment. Because there isn't really any way to lighten what you've already put in. It's always a good exercise to come into watercolor and do things backwards. What my brain feels is backwards. It's also why I feel like people tend to only do one or the other and why I generally do mostly the acrylic. Has Miss Ratch given you the water pump back yet? What? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know, Miss Ratch. Did you take something from me I don't know about?
find that when I work in watercolor, my brush strokes are more visible, and I never really know how I feel about that. The water pump in the last stream broke, and Mr. Arch took it to pump it. Oh, you're talking about the, um... It wasn't a water pump. It was the little pump for my, uh... Palette freshener. Refresher. Ah, uh, 3.40 a.m. jokes. I'm a fire! <laughs> well, see, the challenge with jokes is that it's only about maybe a 10% chance at best that I am even going to get that this is a joke and I'm going to take it totally, like, concrete serious and I'm going to be super confused and not get the joke and not get what we're talking about and I'm just going to sit here and go, what's happening? That's, that's usually my relationship with jokes. <laughs> so don't worry, dude, it's not you. The problem with jokes is that they require a like subtlety of the social situation that I am not good at picking up. So I just sit here and go, what's going on? I'm confused. <laughs> Don't I know it? <laughs> this one is all me. <laughs> You're like, it's fine. I own it. I'll just, I'll just take this and pack it up. It's fine. person's really coming or not because we frequently get them alerting as if they're raiding and then they never talk to us so I don't know it's that skull and bones person again hello if you're here I have been seeing people that I am familiar with having trouble with some of their rating though. So I don't know that this is necessarily like anything that's happening intentionally. Cause Twitch, Twitch is moody. We all know the weird woes of Twitch. Maybe they're intimidated. I mean, it is kind of weird and suspicious, but I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt. Because I can think of all the weird things that I did as a new streamer and that I look back at now that were probably, like, came off as super, like, sketch. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, it shows that they're live now, so yeah, I don't I don't know what's going on. It's just weird. And the more it happens, the weirder it gets. It's like they come here as a promote their channel and they start streaming or I don't I don't know. I'm gonna go there and tell them to get their butts in here. Let's investigate. Oh no guys, don't be don't be mean. Whatever investigating you do, make sure you stay nice and respectful. I just don't know how it's like to their benefit to take whatever audience they have to somewhere else. Because that's what happens when you hit that raid button. very weird to me the whole thing the whole thing is just very weird and I just sit here and scratch my head and I, I don't get it it makes no sense to me everywhere I've exploded my space guys it's a hot mess over here I don't even know what all you can see I don't I don't know if you can see the exploded table but it's bad I've like exploded my table it's just it's a mess things have happened things have happened that probably shouldn't have happened <laughs>
Too many just lurking. <laughs> I was sad. I wouldn't be me. Good. I really don't think that is the case. Last time I was in there, sat for the first time, and it said that they raided again while they were actively playing Hogwarts, and nothing changed on their end. Maybe a glitch is sore. She did not talk about raiding or anything. They were working on decorating their room when it said that they were raiding again. Or, or par for the zebra pig, of course, right? And I wonder if it is an issue with their channel because they raided several channels, same with the no change on hers. It was on her channel just now when it did it again. She was in the middle of a match when it raided away. Yeah, that's very weird. Yeah, I, I Like I said, I feel like there's something going on with their channel. I don't think that they're, like, trying to do anything malicious. I think that they're just glitching. Hey, General Volts, how you doing? I don't think that they're, you know, being malicious or anything. And it's definitely nothing that's good for their channel to just be, like, constantly raiding away with their viewers. Because there's no raid command in chat at all before you end up on another channel. Yeah, it's like, it just, it makes no sense to me, like, why you would intentionally do that. It really feels like it's just some bizarre glitch. You know, I wonder if they, like, set something up or were trying to set something up and it just is working very badly. I, I, I don't know what's going on, but yeah. And their time does show that they just started streaming, but their gameplay seems like they, they've been playing for a while. Yeah. Well, I've had it where I have accidentally, like, raided out, and it will, like, re back in, like, when I really first started. And it does restart your stream if you don't turn your stream on. So... Maybe she's typing the commands while they are playing to raid away unnoticed, right? I don't, I don't know. There's just, it's just weird. The whole thing is weird. I don't, I don't know. Have a fun weekend, guys. See you on the next one. Well, good night, Bounty Hunter. Thanks for coming and hanging out with us. I hope that you sleep well.
Juniper, how you doing? Things are going well here. I hope things are going well for you as well. We are almost done for the night though. Got a few more minutes, gonna finish up this like flower base and then we will be wrapping up here shortly. So I think that it's pretty pretty obvious to say that this one is far from being done. <laughs> um, so we will definitely have to work on this one more next week when we do our next uh, paint night. But at least we got the one we started before done. So that's something. It's looking nice. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. All right. That one's going to take a while to dry. And I'm going to have to chase markers. I'm going to be doing that for a while. <laughs> I exploded the markers. Things happened, guys. All right, let me do, 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 do. All right, so thank you guys for coming and hanging out with me today. I really appreciate you being here. I really appreciate all the support, all the follows, subs, likes, just, just all the things. I really can't express enough how much I appreciate it all. And a special thank you to those people who have done the donations. And from this angle, I'm not sure which direction I'm supposed to point to make it point to where the things are. But you can see it on the screen somewhere. Um... <laughs> So thank you whether you gave money or video games special. Thanks for that. I really appreciate that. Um, and thank you to those who gave fan art. I, I think that's still mostly uh, above me. Um, <laughs> so if you go into the about page, you will see that there is a green dragon. If you click on that, that will take you over to Siri Sulk's page. She's the artist who has done all my emotes and overlays. You should check her out. She's amazing. She's open for commissions. You should just check out her art. It's stellar. You can also find the buy me a coffee link. And if you go over to that, it is a my coffee shop that has lots of different options and ways that you can support us from crocheted items and goods to being able to do one-time donations or tiers of support with different perks and benefits so you should check it out um and if you want to give a fan art you can do that by going to the discord channel there uh, to the discord server there is a fan art channel and any art that is put in that channel will be included in a slideshow that's somewhere above me and um, that way people can see your awesome arting powers. Let's take a look and see who is on tonight. Not likely that it will be anybody else who is arting, but let's take a peek and see who we got. Well, I'm going to take you over to Victoria because she's awesome and I haven't rated her in a while. She's playing a game called Forever Skies. I've never heard of it, but she herself is an absolute blast to hang with. So we're going to go over there. All right. And today is Thursday. So that means my next stream is actually going to be on YouTube on Saturday noon to four um and that's eastern time and i will be playing alien isolation 
My next stream on Twitch is on Sunday. It's Don't Starve, and it's the 6 p.m. Uh, to 10 p.m. Eastern Time block. So, yeah. All the things. And until you guys can hang out with me again, you be sure to take care of yourselves, all right? All right? Okay. Bye.